Hello, I'm Mobilent Eon. Let's find out how to assemble lithium ion batteries. It's a colorful white shark battery case. It uses 18,650 lithium ion batteries. The parts needed to be assembled, you can see what's in the box. Battery pack discharge connector. USB step down 5 volt module. Battery indicator. Aluminum rail installation. Assembling the battery mount bracket. USB socket. Switch. DC charging connector. Dust cover. Battery mount adapter. Mark the terminal polarity with a paint pen. Pre-pass the cable connected to the XD60 connector. Connect the connector. Pre-melting lead into the wire and allowing it to permeate. Then melt the lead and attach it to the connector. Heat the pre-fitted heat shrink tube. Close the cover and finish. Battery pack mount is complete. Battery pack fabrication. Batteries above or below average voltage. Keep it unused. Please order more freely. You can use it as a portable power bank or a spare battery. The battery parallelism principle. Place 3.6 volt 1 ampere hour batteries with the same polarity. And the batteries are connected using conductors between the same polarity. Keep the voltage at 3.6 volt. Increased capacity to 4 ampere hour is the biggest feature of parallel connections. 3.6 volt and 4 ampere hour. Multiply these two numbers. Battery pack energy capacity can be calculated. The battery is being positioned efficiently. Let's look at the battery's serial connection method and pattern. Connecting the battery electrode as shown in the picture, it is called a serial connection. The voltage of the battery goes up to 14, 4 volt. This is the biggest feature of serial connections. If you multiply the battery capacity by 14, 4 volt and 1 ampere hour, it is possible to calculate the total amount of battery pack energy, which is watt hour. I will add the battery with the same pattern. Watt hour maintaining the voltage at 14, 4 volt. Extended battery capacity from 1 ampere hour to 2 ampere hour. 14, 4 volt x 2 ampere hour equals 28, 8 watt hour. Cover the place where you don't want to weld with a captain tape. Safe welding is possible even if you make a mistake. Complete one side and complete the other side. The back is completed in the same way.
please make a scratch on the location of the CG number you just saw. Nickel seat bridge position. Coat the location where the scratch was made with lead. Fourteen, remove the AWG wire and melt the lead at the end and attach it. The negative polarity position is also fused and pasted. Connect the silicon cable that you just divided into Ys. Press down on the thick parts with tweezers. Make it flat. Connecting an even balance cable connector. Start the connection from the black even balance cable connector. 02468012 in order. I've connected to number 12. The even number balance cable connection is complete. Odd number balance cable connection. The operation method is the same as the even plane. Nickel sheet bridge scratch. Scratch position lead coating. Odd number balance cable connection. Battery pack plus positive polarity connection. Check battery pack serial order. Blocks 1 through 13 LL showed similar voltages. The battery connection order is normal. EMS connections. Protect the nickel sheet and balance cable with captone tape. Adjust the collens cable. Attach insulation paper to the BMS installation location using double-sided tape. Battery pack. Dissolve lead in negative wires to absorb. Solder in BMS B negative position. Connect the discharge cable to the C negative position. Case USB. On the battery discharge connector terminal, connect to the 14th of AUG silicon cable. It's a battery pack. Gator, add and connect to the 24th of AUG cable. Check the installation location for a moment. Add and connect 20 AWG, 24 AWG wires. Insert the heat shrink tube and protect the connector terminals. Place the battery pack in the case for a while. Connect the 20 AWG silicon cable to the charging connector. The switch connects to the USB step-down module. It is easy to work on the terminal by melting the lead in advance and pasting it. The 20 AWG positive cable connects to the casing switch and the charging connector simultaneously. USB modular power input wires have been attached. USB module on switch. Connect the input plus positive wire. 
USB module output wires installed in the casing, connect to the USB socket. Use silicon to protect the soldering location. Using double-sided tape foam, attach to the appropriate location without thermal effects. Assembly of the case. Battery case discharge connector and connect the battery, see negative discharge cable. Use the heat shrink tube to protect the cable. Connect the BMS balance cable connector. The battery indicator is a battery case discharge connector connected to the, the 24th of AUG cable. Clean the inside of the cable to prevent it from being damaged. Assemble the washer and nut together. Key. Voltage electrode inspection. Battery indicator. It's complete. Items needed for production can be found on the video bullet board. Subscribe and like click is a big help in producing broadcasts. Thanks for watching.